Guys, Gamo's new Urban 22 is doing great things. To see what I mean, stick around. All right, guys, Gamo comes to us out of Spain. This is their brand new Urban 22. It's manufactured inside of the Birmingham Small Arms Plant in the United Kingdom, and it can be had for about 400 bucks. Now, the Urban is 42.9 inches long overall. It weighs 8.9 pounds, shoot ready to include a magazine full of lead, scope, rings, and a reservoir filled with air. Now the Urban's reservoir is only 105 cubic centimeters, which is very good for keeping overall weight down, but it also makes this gun very hand pump friendly. Now if you fill that reservoir to the recommended 232 bar, you're gonna get about 50 usable shots out at distances like 25 yards before you notice any drop. But if you wanna push your Urban out to 50 and even 100 yards, just fill that reservoir to about 195 bar. If you do, you'll be rewarded with 33 good shots in a 14 grain, 27 good shots in an 18 grain, and by good I mean with an extreme spread of just, <clears throat> excuse me, 20 feet per second. So there's some very good tuning going on in here from Gamo and BSA. So the economy is definitely there, but so is power. This is a 21 to 22 foot pound of energy gun. It's gonna push an 18 grain pellet to an average of about, of about 730 feet per second, and it's gonna push that 14 grain pellet to an average of about 800 feet per second. So if you wanna hunt with this out past 50 yards, it is very appropriate to do so. Now, as with other gamos, there are some gamo goodies in here to include their Fusion Whisper silencer which is the quietest moderator that they offer on an air gun there are some internal baffles in here to help keep things nice and hush hush for you and i'm very happy to report that this gun is incredibly quiet over on the back of the gun is gamo's swa or shockwave absorber butt pad now while there's no recoil to speak of here it's very nice to look at and it does a nice job of keeping the gun planted in your shoulder and green means go for hunting on the bottom of the gun is Gamo CAT, or Custom Action Trigger, which is dual stage and dual stage adjustable. The first stage is nice and light, comes up against a hard stop, but there is a little bit of roll in there before that second stage will let off for you. Now up on top of the gun here is all BSA to include their uninterrupted 11 millimeter rail. It also includes a BSA 10 shot rotary magazine, which as in other BSA platforms out of the United Kingdom, is magnetically bound into the receiver. The bolt is also BSA, which is very slick and smooth and easy to cock. It's the one we've all come to know and love, and it can also be safely decocked. Now the stock on the Urban is hard hollow plastic, which is uh, very good for, again, keeping weight down. It means you can take it out into the field and beat the tar out of it. So this is, so this is a true hunter's gun. And while it is not the most highly finished stock I've ever had my hands on, it is definitely a looker. And um, I have to tell you, it feels very, very good in hand. Probably one of the best overall platforms I've ever, sh I've ever shouldered. And if ever you get a chance to pick one of these things up, shoot it and hold it, you'll know exactly what I mean. So with that, I am excited to get to sharing and here we go. It was several days calling pellets for BSA's hammer forged barrel. And while it wasn't fussy at 25 yards, at 50 it was. To know what I'm up to day to day, and for behind the scenes pictures and information leading up to video day, you can follow AEAC on Facebook. I'll share things here about process that won't make it into the videos, so you won't want to miss out. I've got an ugly left to right wind today out of my 4 o'clock, and before it started these JSB-18s were all stacking up in the same hole for me.
The trick to giving you guys a good show was to watch the vegetation downrange and to do my best to shoot in between the puffs. And when I didn't, they'd push right on me. You guys get the idea. If you're gonna own an Urban, try the JSB-18s. And definitely get yourself a box of Crossman Premieres. At least it pushed them all into the same hole. As previously mentioned, the Urban's 105cc air reservoir is a great candidate for a hand pump, but today we'll be filling it with an SCBA tank. Whatever you fill it with, all you got to do is pop off the plastic protective cover to expose the fill port, take your fill probe and insert it in the fill port, and recharge to no more than 230 bar. done, bleed the pressure in your system, remove your probe, and reinstall the dust cover. Remember, whatever you do, don't fill it to more than 230 bar, and for the best performance, all you really need is 195 bar. Gamo's CAT, or Custom Action Trigger, is dual stage and dual stage adjustable. The safety is flicked off and back on with ease. First stage take up is nice and light and comes up against a hard stop, but there's quite a bit of creep to work through before that second stage will let off for you. One pound, 13 ounces. Alright guys, the Urban's one of those guns that they call mouse fart quiet on account of the whisper fusion moderator. Now the decibel meter is still at home because it's confusing way too many of you. Instead I've decided to bring you guys all right here and create a 3D stereo image with this dual mic sound test. It accomplishes that by spacing a microphone about 4 or 5 feet away from me this way and another one about 25 feet down range.
Well, that's all for today, guys. If you liked what you saw here and you want to encourage more videos like it, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, tell your friends about us, and be sure and check us out on Facebook for behind the scenes pictures and information leading up to video day. Now, a big thank you to the folks at Airgun Depot, JSB, Predator International, H&N Pellets, and Splatterburst Targets. Without their support, these episodes wouldn't have been possible, and you guys know the best way to thank them. Now from here you'll want to head on over to the Airgun Nation forum so you can follow along in the discussion thread on the Gamo Urban. I'll leave you a link in the description down below. As for me, I'm Steve Shally. I really appreciate you watching and we'll see you again real soon.